welcome to another video of this channel now in this video we are going to talk about a very interesting and also at the same time very important topic like how we can inject props inside children now for this video for the demonstration purpose i'm going to use react native and obviously you can do the same thing inside react as well just there you need to change these components like here i'm going to use view and text these are the reactive specific component there you will change these things with the deep paragraph tag and things like that okay and one more thing if you feel any confusion if you get stuck in between then you can always come to my instagram and send me the dm and make sure you include a screenshot of the error or the code that you are writing so that i can help you properly okay and one more thing if you want to you can follow me there as well and that's not necessary but clicking on the like and the subscribe button in this channel is necessary now let's uh, come to this project this is the react native app and this is the export project and here we don't have anything this is the app.js with just this view and the text and you can see this hello here inside this app and inside this app inside this components folder i have this custom button and the plan is like here, I'll show you how you can create your custom button. But like here, we are going to create this button with an icon. So for every button, everything else will be the same like the style, on press prop, everything. But the icon will be different. And also, I will show you how you can take extra prop if you want to for that icon. And for this project, obviously we are using Expo, so we are going to use Expo icons, okay, Expo vector icons. So first of all, what we will do inside this components, inside this custom button, we will create our functional component and here we will create our button. So instead of this view here, we can use this pressable. So this will be, let me do it like this and here we are going to import this from inside our react native like this okay this pressable is just like the touchable without feedback but uh, inside touchable without feedback you can only use the single component if you don't know but here we can use multiple this will also work like the touchable without feedback at the same time with like touchable opacity so this is the new one inside react native now here what we will do we will first render the icon and if you guys don't know for the icon what you can do let me open this so icons.expo.fii this is the official website for the vector icons and to use this you don't need to install anything okay so this is the default one what we will do we will use like this icon for our project so let's uh, import this like this and we need to copy this and here we can render this icon and i'm doing this for the demonstration just to style this component and then later we will change this with our custom icons okay and here what i will do i'll render this text and inside this text let's render hello or my button so let's save this let's come to this app.js and here we will render this custom button let's save this and let's see if we have something or not okay we don't have anything let me reload this app and finally here we have this error and that is because here i forgot to import this text and i don't know why my auto import is not working properly okay this is the icon and this is the text and inside here we can obviously accept this on press pro where we can do uh, stuff like this console.log now if i press here you can see this is our pressable component okay now here what i will do i'll add some style quickly and i'll explain what i'm doing here okay as you can see these are the styles that i'm using for this button container flex direction row to align them side by side and here we have this align item center to align them like this or horizontally and uh, here we have this background color 1e1e1e e one e one e, and if you guys don't know then this is the color of this dark theme of this vs code i guess okay and uh, this is the width and i'm giving it this padding and some border radius to make that rounded corner okay and what we need to do here 
Now because we here we want to accept this icon and also at the same time for this icon we want to accept uh, some extra or custom properties like for this name, color and this size but also at the same time here we want to add our own style for this button for this icon inside this button okay so in that time yes you guess that correctly at the same time we need to know how we can inject props inside the children but for now let's add this style here and for the style what i will do i'll create this styles dot button and i cannot do it like this we need to do it like this and here what i will do i'll go to here and let's create this button not button this will be our icon and uh, let's change it to icon and for this icon what i will do i will first uh, give it this text color or yes text color not text color just color okay so this will be white and also at the same time here what i will do i'll give it this margin left or right margin right of five or let's give it this 10 and okay that's fine also at the same time i'll give it this font size of 18 only that's fine now we can remove the size from here and i will copy this thing and i will paste inside here but this time we will change it to btn title so let's come down and let's create this btn title and here i will give all of these things to this one also but this time we will not not give it this margin right so this will be our custom button also if you don't want to you can uh, leave this width because if you render longer text than this this will overflow also here what you can do you can use like this mean width mean width if you do it like this and uh, i don't want this max width or mean width okay just let's use this width if you use this width or max width it will not do the trick that we want to do okay so this will be our button but here we want to accept this icon and this title custom right so this will be our btn title and here we will render our children like this children now we need to destructure this children like this now i'll save this and inside here inside this button what we need to do so here first of all we will okay there is no title so we need to destructure this title here save this and here this is our button now also if you want to you can check this children and title if there is nothing then you can render null or return null but here let's uh, add this title and this will be my first this will be our button and inside here we will render the icon so for that i'll cut this out and i'll paste it here okay so we need to now render this inside here now if i save this there will be nothing and that is because first of all we need to add this name and also i'll copy this thing let's copy it from here so this is the thing but here we want to remove this color black and the size and as you can see now here if you want to you can go to this and you can copy all of these style for this icon and you can add them inside this style prop like this but i don't want to do this for my entire button like if i want to render another button below this let me render this another button and for this one i'll render another icon let's uh, come down and i will use this plus icon okay for this we need to import it from this and design so i will paste it like this and i'll remove all of these things okay now this will be my my second let's save this okay this is my button and what i will do i will go to this one also if you want to you can accept the prop called style for this button and you can add the custom style but for now i'll just add this style here and uh, margin top and i'll give it this 15 just for the demonstration now here the main thing is that we want to 
accept the style for this icon right so how will you do that this is the topic of this video right so for that let's come to this custom button and here we will destructure the children from inside this react and this is capital C okay C-H-I-L-D-R-E-N with capital C now instead of this children we can remove this here we can use this children dot map and here first of all you need to pass the children itself which we are accepting as the prop and inside the second argument you will get the child not like this child as you can read here you will get the child and the index we don't want the index but we need this child and this child will be the exact thing like this okay so what we can do inside here first of all we will check like if this child is a valid or not so for that we need to import another thing from inside this react is valid element so we will check if this children is valid react element or not so is valid element and we can pass this child here and we need to check for this not operator like this and we'll return not like this we'll return null if this is not valid child okay otherwise what we will do we will return our children so for that we need to first import this clone element again from inside this react and this will be our clone element so first of all we'll clone the element now which element do we clone so for that obviously we'll clone the child and as the second parameter we can pass these configuration objects so here inside this child you will have the props and these will be the props which we are passing inside here like this name style or things like that so here obviously we want to accept this name and other custom props if we want to and also at the same time we want to add this style for this icon on our own so for that inside this object what i will do i'll spread this child.props and here for this style what we will do we'll pass this styles dot icon obviously not like this first of all we need to add this style colon style dot icon and also what we will do for this one we'll first uh, spread all of these style from inside this icon and after that we will spread this like props or not props child dot props dot style like this so with this you will have this style and also if you want to override these things you can pass your own style inside your prop or inside the children as the prop of the like the style okay now finally let's save this and let's see what we will get now if i save this you can see all of the styles came back now here we have this icon obviously we can change the font size like if i want to i can change this to 15 or 10 or something like that so here we are handling this style from inside this custom button itself also if we want to we can pass the style or any other component or prop that you want to inside this component called this and design this is the icon okay now here what i will do not background let's uh, change its color to red and as you can see the color is just changed so this is how we can accept custom props also at the same time what we are doing we are using our own default props and also you can accept these custom props and the custom props for the example just this name okay this is our name and here i'm going to remove this style so this is our custom prop so name which we are passing or spreading like this child.props and for the style we are using our own style if that not the case then what we can do we will accept this new or custom component or not custom component custom prop called style so that's how you can do these things inside react like how we can inject our custom prop inside our children also you can do the same thing inside react as i already told you there instead of these things you will have the button or something else like paragraph tag span or things like that so that's the thing i hope you enjoy watching this video and learn something new if this is the case then don't forget to hit that like button 
and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video